YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So, what we're taking a look at today, we've got a bunch of batteries and we've got a charger with four outputs, but these 2S uh, post battery packs, these can be charged in sets. So, we're going to look at these cables, what we're using today. So, basically, you can charge the 2S packs as 1 4S, but get the balance feed off of them all. So, link will be in the description for these. But basically, you get the pack set up, same as what you have in car. And you've got the link lead. So, we'll start with that. And that's got a red band and a white band on it. So, you put the red into your positive. The white into the negative. And then if you look at the leads you've got left, you've got one with no band, so that goes into your negative. One with another white band, but it's a positive cable. That goes into positive. And then you've got two balance leads. So the one with the white band on it, put into the one with the white bands. And the one with no band goes into that one. And then if you want to charge another set, so we can take another output and then same again you want negative with the white band on in one and then the lead that goes between them with the red band then you want negative and positive and let's get these and then again you've got your two balance leads so the one without a band goes into one battery and the one with a band goes into the other now basically what this lets you do is charge both these packs off of one output so you've got one channel for these two one channel for these two and it'll charge it as a 4s now, the one thing that you will take with this is it's going to take longer to charge the packs than charging them singly. But, although it'll take longer, you won't have the issue that you're basically only charging these and then them, when they're done, they're all done at the same time. Um, only drawback to doing it this way is if you've got a temp sensor... I tend to charge them like that with a temp sensor between both batteries and again from this side I'll drop the temp sensor on put it on one battery and then put it between them now how quick you can charge these depends on your charger this one will do a hundred watts out of each side so I th think you're gonna be charging a 4s you're probably going to be getting up to about 7 amp charge uh, if you've got a more powerful charger you can obviously up the uh, up the ampage and get them charging at 1s or I think these uh, Orion batteries are stated that they can charge at 5s um, not a whole lot of instructions come with these ones um, these are a new set of batteries that we've just got in these are graphene same as the Orion's and then we've also got the uh, Z batteries, uh, post batteries. One other nice feature with these, they will fit both 4 and 5 millimeter posts. So you can, you've got lots of options on what batteries you're charging. And then on this side of the charger, you just plug it into the 4S port. Um, but yeah, just nice and convenient to be able to charge multiple batteries um, rather than having to just charge one, then charge the other and it does balance them all at the same time you've got all your balance leads connected so you've got one that goes to this one to that one then you've got one off the balance port of each battery and one off the link cable so you are balancing all all the uh, all four of the cells but nice and convenient and they're quite well made cables to be fair to them but if you like this kind of video like and subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell and I'll catch you guys again in the next one.